In this video, I'm gonna show you five ways to make the Files app on the iPad way more useful. Hello and welcome to Everything iPad, the show all about the iPad. In today's show, we're gonna take a look at the Files app. I'm gonna give you five ways to make it a little bit more useful as you use it every day. So for the first few tips, we're gonna take a look at the sidebar that's on the side of the Files app. Now, if you can't see it, you can turn this on and off using the icon in the top left hand corner of the screen to show or hide that sidebar. It's a really useful place actually for getting around this app really quickly. And my first few tips actually focus all around this. So the first tip we're gonna look at is actually how you can enable additional cloud storage services from within the Files app. So if you have the OneDrive app installed or uh, the Google Drive app, and there's a few others, you can actually enable it. So you can access files from those services from within the Files app is really, really useful. Now to do that, we need to edit the sidebar. If we take a look at our sidebar in the top right corner of the sidebar, I've got an icon with three dots. If I just tap on that, I've got three options here. The last one is called Edit Sidebar. So I'm gonna tap on that. And this is where we can actually change a lot of stuff around and reorder things. But you'll notice I've actually got three services now I don't have enabled. So I've got Grammarly, Google Drive, and OneDrive. And all I need to do is simply toggle to turn each one of these services on. So I'm going to turn them all on, why not? And when I'm done, I can hit done. And now I've, can act, now I've got access to these services right from the Files app. And it's not just the Files app, but if you're uploading something through Safari or whatever, um, you get the sort of document picker come up. It'll also show it there as well. So it's really handy to make sure these are turned on. So just to prove this works, I'm going to tap on OneDrive. As you can see, I've got access to my files and shared documents. Same with Google Drive. I can get all of that stuff um, all ready and available. So that's my first tip. Make sure you've got all your different cloud services enabled within the Files app. Next, we're going to turn our attention to the favorites part of the sidebar. This is where I can add um, shortcuts to specific folders on my uh, iCloud Drive or on my iPad that I want to get really, really quick access to. So it's really easy to set up. And as you can see, I've got a few folders here already. Now to add a folder to your favorites, is really easy. I've got a couple of folders you can see on the screen here. If I long press on one of them, it brings up a contextual menu. One of those is called favorite. So if I tap on favorite, it now gets added to the side underneath favorites. If I want to remove anything from my favorites, what I can do is I can tap on the three dots, that icon in the top, corner that we showed you before, tap on edit sidebar, and then I can just tap to remove anything I don't want to see. Tip number three is all about using tags. This is really good if you want to get access to files really quickly that might be in a variety of different places. So you might tag things based on their file type or what they're used for. So if you can have a look on my screen, I've got a purple dot next to it that says videos. So what I've done is I've tagged a bunch of videos that I have saved on this iPad or an iCloud drive. And if I just tap on that tag, it takes me to the videos that I've highlighted. So I can edit these tags. I can rename it. I can change colors and all that sort of thing. Um, and let's set one up now. So to do that, tap on the three dots once again and choose edit sidebar. Now I've got these different tags um, in the bottom left corner of my screen you can see here. I'm going to move the yellow one. I'm just going to reorder it so it's underneath videos. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it from yellow to something a little bit more um, useful. I'm going to call this one Image Assets. Now, this is really useful, this kind of thing, if you're a creator um, and you need to upload like avatars, social media pictures, or anything like that. You want really quick access to the, these files and they're all in different places. So I'm just going to call this Image Assets. And I'm going to hit Done to finish off. Now, everything tagged in yellow is going to be what I've just determined are going to be my image assets. Let's look at how we tag files next to make sure they appear when I tap on this. So I'm going to tag a bunch of files now. And to do that, I find the file I want. So I've got this one called social here. I'm going to long press on it. Brings up that contextual menu again. I'm going to tap on tags. And then I'm going to choose image assets. Um, tap away and now you can see a yellow circle has appeared so when i tap on image assets underneath tags that document is right there and i can do it with files in different locations as well so let's find another one 
So this is a different folder located from within iCloud Drive. I've got a whole bunch of other pictures from my different tech channels. So I'm going to just tap on one, tag it again, choose image assets. That's now tagged in yellow or quick access to it. So let's say you've got multiple images all in one place, but you want to tag them all, but you don't have to tag each one because that will take forever. You can select multiple images and then do it that way. So if I tap on select, which is found at the top, I can select all of the other images that I want to include. And then I can tap more in the bottom right corner and then choose tags and tap on image assets. And now I've just tagged several images at once. And again, just to prove this works, if I tap on image assets under tags on the sidebar, all of the images I've tagged so far appear there. So this is something really, really useful to organize files in lots of different places under a particular category. Tip number four is to make this actually a usable file system in terms of how you view it. At the moment, by default, I can see all of the thumbnails and all of the, the folder icons and they're all pretty big. Now, just like the Mac, you can put this in column view, which is the best way to view things um, in the files or find it if you're using a Mac. And to do that, it's really easy to turn on. It takes five seconds. Next to select in the top corner of the screen, I've got this icon which has four squares. If I tap on that, this allows me to rearrange um, icons by name and date or whatever. You can do anything you like. Um, but the one thing we can look at is the top three. I can view icons, a list or columns. So if I tap on columns, I'm now in column view, which is way more useful in terms of navigating around and finding stuff. So I can tap on things, move around. Yeah, this is the, this is the way you should be using um, the files app, in my opinion. So for the final tip in this video, we're going to create a shortcut and a shortcut is something we can put on our home screen or our dock. But when we tap on it, it's going to open up a specific folder in the files app. So this is something that's really useful if you need access from your home screen uh, to, to get to a particular folder really, really quickly or frequently. And I've talked about shortcuts on a previous episode where I looked. If you look at my dock, I've got these colorful icons down here which do all sorts of different things. If you haven't watched that episode yet, do check it out because it's really useful. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to build a shortcut that's going to open up a very specific folder. I'm going to add it to our home screen. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to open up the shortcuts app. I'm going to tap on the plus icon at the toolbar at the top. And under search, uh, I'm going to type in folder. This is step one. Now, when I tap on folder, I need to choose from the files app which folder I want to open. So for this, I'm going to choose the downloads folder so I can get access to my downloads folder really easily from the home screen. When I've chosen that, I'm going to tap on open. Now you can see my first inst instruction under shortcuts is to get the downloads folder. I actually need to tell the shortcuts app what to do with that folder. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to search for open file. And I'm going to tap on this. Now, even though I've chosen file, it automatically um, allocates it as a folder, as you can see here. So the last step, what I need to do is actually choose which app I'm going to open this folder in. So if I tap on where it says default app, I'm actually just going to scroll down and choose files. And that's it. My shortcut is built. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this shortcut to my, my home screen so I can get access to that downloads folder really quickly. To do that in the top left corner where it says open file, I'm going to tap on the arrow and I'm going to choose add to home screen. This is called New Shortcuts. So I'm going to rename this to Downloads. And if you tap on the icon, what you can do is you, if you download like a custom icon, you want to make it look nice, you can do that. I'm not going to do that just yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on Add. Now you can see on my home screen, I now have this icon, this purple icon called Downloads. When I tap on that, it's going to open up the Downloads folder in my Files app. So as you can see now, this downloads folder is open right from my home screen. It's really, really useful. So do have that if you want a particular folder that you want to access really frequently. If I want to add it to my dock, I can just drag it, move it down into my dock. Done. Easy peasy. So that's it for this episode of Everything iPad. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please like, comment, subscribe and get involved. How are you using the Files app? And if you've got any tips that make the Files app even more useful, do let me know. 
If you want to support, do the like and comment thing. But also, if you want to leave a donation, you can use the super thanks button here on YouTube. Or you can have a head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash buzzkill to leave a donation there. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll be back soon with some more iPad tips and tricks.